brutality of war spares none. And perhaps the survivors suffer the biggest consequences. The city-state of Grant enjoyed the protection of trade partners for centuries. And when that protection faded, as the banners of united invaders approached, the city turned to Mephisto instead. With his one hand, the legendary alchemist created a potent brew, from which he unleashed a dreaded fog that blanketed the streets. With the other, he spread his gift of antidote to the citizens. But with his legs, he eventually left, and all that escaped Grant since that day were the sounds of agony and chaos. Such is the legend of Grant. Brave mercenaries, our victorious king has given you a chance of redemption. Your transgressions against the crown shall be forgiven. Deliver him this city filled with riches, free of the mists that once turned his soldiers feral. Grant him this wish, and he will grant you your freedom. I don't care why Johan is so bothered with you lot. Every new mercenary bandy wants me to let in dies faster than the last one. Name's Martin. I would settle for more pleasant introductions, but now's the time for a more simple question. Why have you come here? A royal pardon from the king. I've seen my fair share of looters, treasure hunters and idiots alike, but that's a new one. To stay alive here, then ask Johan to join the Guilty Claw. I'll take you there as long as you don't slow me down. Get those legs moving, it's not far from here. Still have some stamina after your journey? Good. See this light? Means someone inside is willing to talk. Nervous fellow, but loyal. Keeps an eye out for the gates for new visitors. Ask him for the key to the gate there. We lock up a lot of things in Grant on Johann's orders. Believes it will prevent people from stumbling into places they've no business being. You willingly entered this place? Should have taken the death sentence, friend. Much better way out. Grant is beyond saving, I tell you. If the fog doesn't kill you, the bleeding Mephistians will. Them nutters actually worship the fog and the madman that created it. Why I'm posted here? Simple cowardice. Useless in battle, just like most people indoors. Keep an eye out for lanterns. People hiding may have interesting things to tell. Could save your life someday. Off you go then. Here's the key to the little gate. No point keeping it locked when the cult controls the entire city. and cultists up ahead. You lot, hope you haven't forgotten how to swing those weapons. The 
Prepare your group with anything you found. Can't have you die this early. Take these daggers. It's always nice to have a rogue on hand. And this crossbow would do fine in the hands of a sharpshooter. Shoot down any stragglers from a safe distance. Changing your class will teach you new abilities, depending on the weapon you've equipped. Keep using those abilities in battle to learn them forever. Passive abilities are learned by simply having them active in battle and performing actions. You can have free learned abilities from any class alongside the other ones. Remain versatile by swinging classes often and learning new abilities. Head on once you've sorted it all out. I can only distract them for so long, so don't take too long. enemy spots your combat starts. Units take turns and move and attack. Your turn is decided by your initiative, and your initiative is determined by your agility stat. A unit has action points and movement. Action points are used to perform attacks and abilities. Movement will let you move across the field. Mix between movement and actions as you like. Once you're out of both, your turn ends. Ending your turn without spending all action points makes your next turn come faster. When ending your turn, pick a direction to face. Attacking from the back or side would deal significantly more damage. Units with shields take even less damage from their left and front, while those with parrying daggers will perform a counterattack. Enough talk for now. Let me remind you how it's done. <laughs> These flanking and backstab bonuses only apply to melee attacks. Your prowess in battle will improve more quickly if you know how to exploit it. Ranged attacks would always count as if they were performed from the front. It's your turn now. Show me what you're worth. Worse? This way now. There's more cultists ahead. 
good opportunity to see if you remember how to use your body alchemy in battle. Take these throwing knives. Like regular equipment, they're equipped for the mercenary menu. Consumable items can only be used once, but don't cost any extra action points to use. Keep track of them. They can be real tide turners in battle. Not last long without knowing your body alchemy. There are four bodily humors, each represented by a color red, black, white, and yellow. Some of these abilities are marked with colors that will imply stacks of imbalance for that humor. Once the right amount has been applied, you can catalyze them. I'll apply Negretto, a black color with a rock. Then I throw a knife to apply rubedo, the red color. Catalyzing strike will catalyze the two into a crimson catalyst. <laughs> Building stacks and catalyzing them is the best way to deal damage in combat. But keep an eye on your own units. Cultists also know how to fight this way. Remember that white and red do not match, neither do black and yellow. Any stacks that don't have a match will remain on the target. Don't disappoint me. Use those knives and rocks to finish quickly.
The entrance to the merchant's guild is up ahead. You go on first, unless I've impressed on you enough to warrant a spot amongst your crew. <laughs> <laughs> 